Well, Scrap for Cash family, it's Sunday. I won't be scrapping in the snow today. I will be scrapping in the rain. I am in Kentucky scrapping to avoid the snow at home. So we'll see how it goes. Hope everybody comes along for the ride. Hey, trash can. It's a piece of metal. I think I can retire now. Ow. Something was sticking me. That was a bone. It's like a bone from a fish. Come on, man. I want to lose him. I think that's a little bag of dog shit. Kind of scrap. You know, at some point, do you just call it a day? Or do you just keep on? <laughs>
Hell damn lot of wire, boys. Keep moving. Look, I gotta come up a different song. But how about that, folks? That's pretty awesome right there. Wire. Wire, wire, more wire.
Uh, I see a cord sticking out of that. Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, I love you. Christmas tree. For a minute there. Thought. That was a wire. Oh. It's not been a whole lot today. But I mean, it's picked up here in the last little bit, but I mean, nothing really big other than that wire. A lot of wire. A whole lot of wire. Metal. Wire. This just turned into a wire haul. Uh, don't like these things. Virginia. Hi. Bastard. Numero uno. Decker action. A little cord action. Got it going on now. Not really, but better. of cords and a hell damn bunch of wire well let's see yeah I mean these it's like the second one of these I found in here things must suck but it's a fireplace
Now that I opened it, I got a smell of it. It's bags of diapers, and I think they're adult diapers. Let's see what we got here. Cord. Another cord. Nasty, wet, cold. But, at least it ain't snowing. It's a bike. What's that? I don't know if I can get that or be honest with you. On. I don't know if it's say or not. Hey, you're on the wrong side of the road. I know. Isn't it cool? Well, <coughs> every time. It's another fan, but it's a miniature fan, so it's, they're growing up. Well, good afternoon, Scrap for Cash family. This is kind of a unique situation we're going to have today because I am actually headed to the scrapyard on a Monday. And the load that I'm taking to the scrapyard is the load that I acquired from scrapping on Sunday, which was yesterday. So I haven't put that video up yet, so what I'll do is incorporate the this run at the end of that video. So you're going to see scrap pickup and then scrap drop off and then how much did it weigh, how much did it pay, so how much did we make? So this this ought to be a very exciting fun filled video and hopefully y'all watch and enjoy uh, we are moments away from hijinks ensuing at the scrapyard so stay tuned and don't turn away you might miss something well we are making the turn Heading to Cohen Dollar Haven. Looks like they've cleaned their snow up. I thought they had some too. Let's see if there's any folks out here. Don't see nobody in line. Well, 
except for that guy. A couple people weighed out. And there's a line in the drive through go figure. So, I, it, it's, believe me, I, I'd rather do this today than tomorrow. Anyway, just do it and get it out of the way. Well, let's go drop this stuff off. What up, fellas? Dennis. Huh. How you doing today? Good, man. How you all doing? That's all that. How you been? Living life, you know, not too bad. Another day, another thought of a dollar. That's all the breakage you got. Here. That's it. Easy. And? Bam, bam, thank you, man. Yeah, it's getting about that time, too. It is. There you go. Do you get out at three or you have to hang out? Here until pretty, anyway, if I can speak English, I'm here until everybody's done coming inside. So if so everybody. So when they lock the gate, nobody rolls through, then you all get to jet yeah. after. As long out. as everybody outside that's out there currently has already been in here, then yeah, well, I you're good. Yeah. Good. Well, you ain't got longer than Yeah, yeah. Oh, if I see anybody, I'll tell them you're close. <laughs> see ya. See you up. Well, let's go do. Let's go do this. Thanks, Chuck. All all this material. I don't know how you fix it. They buy it that way, so. I don't know. I don't either. Hell, you know about the safe. No. You know, take no. Okay. You got uh, concrete or something they said in them. Really? I, I have no idea what the, I know they're heavier than hell. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah and I didn't. Well, I did. I tried to open it, but nothing. It ain't working. Yeah. I doubt there's anything in there, but know how that goes. Yeah, it's concrete or something they say it's in it. Really? I've heard of what they say here, so. <coughs> I'll get rid of her somewhere. Thank you, boss. Well, that.
and this piece of here.
Gotcha. do this fast I think they're getting ready to close this the exit on me okay the PC boards that well, we found in the dumpster four pounds for five dollars forty cents those three door frame aluminums it was two pounds of that 15 cents a pound for 30 cents no take that back sorry that Breakage aluminum was that one crutch. Paid 30 cents. Woo-ha. Uh, those three pieces of the aluminum door frame was extrusion, 10 pounds. Paid $5.40. Had 480 pounds on here, and I still got probably a 200-pound safe back there I got to get rid of. Paid $38.40 at $160 a net ton. And the wire... 67 pounds at 90 cents a pound pays sixty dollars and thirty cents for a grand total of 109.90 and as i always say that is a whole lot better than a sharp stick in the eye so we have emptied almost the load from Lexington so at some point tomorrow I'm going to find a place to dump it safe which is more likely going to be at my dumpster at work which I'll have to have some help unload this thing it is heavy 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 so apparently they don't take safes because they're filled with concrete material stuff which i knew i've dumped a safe here before uh, and there was a, there was a, there's a safe in lexington that i have been wanting to get and i am so glad i found this one as my test safe first because if i'd have went to the trouble to load that big thing up and then brought it here and they said uh we don't take those i'd have blown a gasket so, have a wonderful scrap filled day. Hope you all, uh, hope everybody's well. And remember, if idiots parked on the side of the road trying to get into school, blocking, going the opposite way. <sighs> Spatial awareness, people. If you can't find what you need at Walmart, don't ever, ever forget that you can always shop smart. You can shop dumpster smart, and you never know what you're going to find until you get out there and start looking. So, my advice is get out there and start looking. You may come across a dumpster that has 67 pounds of wire in it. $60 in the dumpster. I'm not a rich man, nor am I a dirt poor man. But I am not afraid to reach in a dumpster and grab wire to make $60. I hope you aren't either. Have a wonderful day. Scrap for Cash is out. Two uh, older couples at a retirement village are having dinner at uh, one of their houses one evening. And they're all sitting around the kitchen table and they finish dinner and uh, the wives get up and they start clearing the table to get ready for uh, dessert, to bring dessert in. They head off to the kitchen, leave the, uh, the two older gentlemen at the table to sit and chit chat while they wait for, you know, Jello or whatever the hell it is they're eating. 
<laughs> so one of them says the other one. He said, man, went out to a restaurant last night, and it, it, it was awesome. It was awesome. And the guy's going, really? Uh, was the food good? Was the service good? What the... He said, man, and the other guy said, everything was good. I mean, we ordered... Uh, I had lobster and steak, and the lobster tail was damn near as big as the plate. And it was fresh and tender, and the, the filet was excellent, service was great, and the prices were extremely affordable. The guy said, really? So, well, where, well, what's the name of that What's the name of this restaurant? And he said, you know, and the other thing is, you, I went to the restroom and, and uh, used the facilities and they had cloth hand towels, you know, rather than paper towels. It had a guy standing there that would hand you a clean towel when you got done washing your, it was just awesome. Really nice place and very, very affordable. And that guy says, well, that sounds great, man. What the, what, what was the name of the restaurant? The guy sat there and thought about it. And sat there thinking and he said, well, you know the name of that flower? The, the one that's, um, you know, it smells good and it's red and it's got thorns. And the guy said, do you mean a rose? That's it, that's it. And then he turns to the kitchen and says, hey Rose, what the hell's the name of that restaurant we went to last night? Asshole. <laughs>